Hello everyone and welcome to Maggie's Possum Journey. I hope you all enjoyed how Maggie had a wonderful time at Elope and in Shikara and in between waters. Well, while watching back my own vlog, let me tell you I absolutely relished and cherished those moments back again. I believe that's the beauty of keeping everything documented and captured. The memories once you go back to them feels like as if we just came out of that trip. But now it is for us to move ahead in our trip. And that night we all were so tired but yet excited. We all wanted to share the feelings and emotions that we shared while we were at the water because as I told you after a point we were all just staring into the nature absorbing its beauty and we hardly spoke my parents shared a lot of their life experiences my husband shared a lot of his childhood experiences and so did i maggie quietly listened and was part of our conversation like she always is well after we had a hearty dinner we slept off absolutely in deep sleep because we were all tired But the next day before everybody else could get up the three of us were up and above as i told you all three of us maggie myself and my husband we love getting up in the morning and we feel that whenever we go out for a trip or a travel to explore that place in the morning is the best thing you can do for that particular place mornings are fresh they're beautiful and most importantly they are absolutely secluded <laughs> somehow the people are not really up for their work and we can see whatever we want and the place from our all our little eyes here again maggie got up in the morning took her walk drank some water and she was ready for her morning walk it was a warm weather even in the morning you know and compared to the other parts of kerala elopi was actually warm and even in the morning there was this humidity that had a little warmth to it but look at this beauty this divine sunrise that we saw everything makes it worth it when you get up in the morning and can have this beautiful sight captured in your memory forever but maggie and papa were in a little bit of mischief they wanted to actually jump onto the boat and they looked at me I screamed from where I was and I said no way until and unless we have somebody who can help us and guide us none of you are getting onto that boat well they were both really upset and Maggie wanted to continue with her walk if she was not allowed to be jumped into the boat I said you better walk rather than getting into a boat without any kind of safety assistance they were both a little upset but the walk continued well nevertheless Once the walk was over we gave Maggie a hearty breakfast we also had some hot piping breakfast south indian breakfast cooked for us the man at the hotel or resort if i may say so was really hospitable and he took very good care of us gradually we took our bath got ready and brought all our luggage out as we were waiting for my parents also to get ready so that we could move out there were little mosquitoes but still maggie wanted to sit right under this bench and enjoy the last bit into this beautiful resort well it was gradually time for us to say goodbye to this beautiful cozy home and we headed off now again we were back into the same system there was a little boat that came and took us and maggie was all ready she was just waiting for us to say that yes maggie now you can jump in she wanted to jump in from here jump in from there finally we gave her a spot and we told her you can jump in from here maggie that will be the safest and will keep the balance intact maggie jumped in from one side and the other side she was just looking at the water i think she saw a couple of fish in the water and was very happy to be back into some adventure can you see there were lovely people there who also made friends with maggie in some time and can you see my father smiling and so is maggie on the side <laughs> don't they look lovely it absolutely shows the content on their face that this place gave us as part of memory that is locked into our hearts forever till the day we can remember all of it 
well again as we moved out and there are some times when you know you don't want to say goodbye to a place but you have to head out again i had a look at the beautiful place that we stayed at and it was time for us to say bye bye to the place well has it happened for some of you that there are trips that you go to where you need to talk and chatter and sing and there are bonfires and that makes the trip really lively but well there are some trips when you are all by yourself you're talking to no one although you are in a big group of people just looking around and thinking wow what did we see what are we taking away with us and it was so wonderful that we came here this was the exact feeling that we all felt not just for lp but for each of the elements that we discovered and we experienced in the state of kerala was really amazing for all of us monar had its own beauty thekere had its own beauty and so did the beautiful lp that was our last stop in kerala for this time we on boarded ourselves into our car we got all the luggage together a special thanks to the caretaker of the resort who took very good care of us and it's wonderful to have such great hospitality you know not just for us but for others also well a little recap for you all to have little snippets of the photographs that we all enjoyed through kerala just in case if you have forgotten maggie in the shikara and maggie having a great time we bidding bye bye in the resort just after breakfast and finally just the look of the mighty backwaters well what a great experience this was but now it was time for us to head towards a new destination so bye bye kerala and we head towards tamil nadu this time tamil nadu again a beautiful state of india with so many gems hidden in itself well this time we decided that let's go to kodai canal my husband and i have already been there once but my parents and maggie well it's going to be the first time for them also let me tell you a little secret my husband and i have this great affection or love for mountains and cold places in general so we had to ho- select from a host of places but we selected kodai canal which would be a great end to our trip and also new years were heading so it was a great way to say bye bye to the last year and welcome the new year kodai canal from alopi was almost 301 kilometers which meant that by road it would take us somewhere between 7 and 1/2 to 8 hours to reach there absolutely depending on the road conditions and how many stoppages we would take we generally as i've seen uh, as our team we don't like to take too many halts even my parents hardly taken one halt or a two just to straighten their back have a little tea or a cup of coffee and be comfortable maggie also <laughs> was very relaxed and she got her cozy sleepy place on my lap and there she was absolutely comfortable and ready to go into the next destination so i told her maggie just have some water sleep for some time because when the new place comes i'm sure you're going to be running around the place because it's a beautiful resort that we are going to stay at i don't know how much of it she understood but she immediately rested and very soon she slept but you know as i'm patting maggie a very hideous and horror story came into my memory and let me share it with all of you because good and bad all make our life together right it's not always the good episodes that are part of our lives but also the scary ones well this one is when maggie was just 4 months old and that's when we first went to kodai It was just the time when you remember lockdowns were on and off during some time and again they were a little stricter so in between where things were a little loose and people had just started traveling back again my husband and I thought that it has been so suffocating into the house let's go somewhere so kodai was one of the destinations we picked up for meanwhile maggie was so little and she hardly would 
be socializing with any other dogs the vet also said because she is all the time with you all from the time she was a little puppy so she's scared of other dogs and she's really hesitant to be friends with them therefore they also advised us and not just one a couple of vets advised us that you can keep them at a boarding for a day or two and just make them comfortable because this is the time she's young and much more flexible it would be great so we took it for a word and we realized why not honestly i actually didn't know how it would be traveling with maggie also so i thought okay this is the best time we can also take a little break out of our houses for two nights and we'll keep maggie in this really amazing boarding well this place had so many facilities a lot of dogs were there and we personally used to love the place even when maggie was not around so after maggie came we thought she'll have such a lot of place to run around she'll be happy and it'll be ideal for her to actually stay in that place to actually experience all of it that the place had to offer well when i dropped her to the boarding she actually didn't even notice the two of us took off in fact i was the one who had tears in my eyes leaving maggie for the first time for two nights we of course went to kodai we had a great time and the people were so nice they would give us video calls showing how maggie ate very well and everything she played at times they gave her a lot of attention since she was a little younger compared to the others but even they observed that even when they were trying maggie wouldn't be friends with any dogs around but nevertheless she ate on time she slept well and we made video calls every 1 hour 2 hour and the people there were very helpful they knew our anxiety so we spent a lovely time at kodai nevertheless but when we got back you know suddenly the minute maggie saw us she surrendered herself and she just almost was in sleep she came home she drank a lot of water and that's it very soon i realized that she was actually suffering from a lot of fever and a lot of runny nose i was really scared because before that just two days back maggie would eat really well since she was just a 4 month old puppy and this experience was so scary for me so i took her to the doctor but of course first i asked my father to give some homeopathy medicines because they are much better and with less side effects you know it actually helped to ease maggie's runny nose and probably the temperature also i was really afraid that she may not have the parvo virus which is very common she was since she was there with a lot of dogs we did all her blood tests and everything but luckily by the grace of god nothing happened it was just a little anxiety that's when we knew how much maggie missed us and since that day we never left her while we going out for a trip but now maggie is much better once we had left her for an emergency at a home boarding and from that time we realized that now that she's growing she's confident and she loves people around well today's entire episode went past by just a story of nostalgia but i hope you all also enjoyed the story but do let me know how was the episode overall for the travelers and how we enjoyed and maggie from her little little maggie who didn't like anybody from to this maggie today who's matured loves everybody socializes mingles eats sleeps does everything do let us know it will really help me to understand if you're enjoying our little videos but till then maggie says bye bye and so do we so bye and hugs from maggie